In this video, I'm going to use Excel to create a scatter plot and then add a regression line or best fit line and also the R score value. So I'm going to enter data into Excel and the data I'm entering is lizard data and the explanatory variable or the X variable is going to be byte force and that's in newtons and then my response variable or my Y variable is going to be territory area. So I'm going to start inputting all of the byte force data, but just so that you don't have to hang around and watch, I'm going to go ahead then and stop this and have you fade in once I'm completely done, or at least almost done. Okay, so I have all of my data and now I'm going to select the data so that I can create a scatter plot. So you just highlight the data, including your headings or the variable names and you go up into insert and over um, about the middle you can see that there are diff different options like a line chart but we're interested in a scatter plot. You can also use the recommended charts where it shows you what your data look like when they're um, actually on a particular graph. So we're going to choose scatter plot and Excel automatically sets up the scatter plot based on the data that you selected. So I've got my X variable and my Y variables, and each of the dots represents the paired variables. So it's kind of hard to see right now the, the font, so I'm just going to make the font a little larger. Okay, and that's a little better. So I want to add a best fit line and also my R square value. To do that, I go back to chart line, click on add chart elements, and go all the way down to trend line. And you can see different trend lines are options, including linear, but I'm going to select more trend line options. Excel automatically adds a linear trend line, which is my best fit line but I also want to add my equation as well as my R square value. So I'm gonna click these two boxes. And you can see it's been added to the chart. So let's close this. I'm just gonna move the equation and the R square value over here so that it can be seen a little clearer. And I'm going to enlarge it so that again, it's a little, it's more legible, readable. Okay, so now you've got your equation and your R-square value with your best fit line.